Drs. Peter and Stephanie Chung are back with us from Vancouver, and uh, they are the authors. Stephanie is the author of Joe's Table, A Place Where Disabilities Become Gifts. This is the story you lived about your beautiful son, Joseph, and we promised we'd pick it up when a child with autism grows into teenage life. Stephanie, what kind of challenges did you face? Especially for Joseph, uh, when he became a, a teenager at that age, uh, in addition to autism, um, he had another problem, has um, uh, very severe seizure disorders. It was very hard. Uh, and he, when he get teenagers, he's getting bigger and heavier. It's very hard to control. but. Um, time to time, God gave me uh, scriptures, verses, and especially that time I always meditate and clung to the verse was uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. Mm -hmm. I know the plans I have for you, to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you future, uh, future and um, uh, a hope. Hope. A hope. Yes. And as he grows, he's now in his early 30s, he is, he becomes an outstanding gentleman. He's active daily almost in his church. He, um, he wrote out the Psalms, a beautiful book. He, this was one of his passions was to, was to write through the Psalms and write everyone out. And ironically, the very passion that he loved, swimming, Mm -hmm. And you had four caregivers watching him that day. Mm -hmm. And a seizure happens. Peter, what happened? Well, uh, it was very difficult to understand why four people watching him couldn't see that Joseph was drowning. And uh, at the end, they found him at the corner of a pool somewhere and uh, it was the first day he was at for special olympics practice and your prayer um that joseph would be a missionary stephanie how does joseph's life then become a missionary life when you let him go so soon what happens um when joseph was about 20 years old um after we moved in uh, Vancouver, uh, because of the Joseph's disabilities, we could start a, a, a gathering meeting. Uh, it calls a Bethesda Mother's Group. And through that, um, actually we get together and we comfort each other, encourage each other, and also we share the gospel and pray each other. And through that, non-Christian mothers became a Christian because in the scripture I clearly said that this child disability is not for a parent's sin nor a child's sin, not God's mistake. This is for the glory for God. So after they uh, studied in Bibles and they became a Christian, so God really using Joseph as a missionary to uh, handicapped, handicapped families. Stephanie, why a coffee shop, Joe's Table, in, in Joseph's honor? Uh, when Joseph was alive, uh, Joseph always wanted to say to people, hi, my name is Joseph, what is your name? He really wants to connect with other people. So uh, when he became an adult, Peter and I thought, Oh, we need a job for job for Joseph. So, um, uh, how about the breeder for the coffee shop? Then he'll be very happy because whenever he said about the sentence, he just looks like a normal person, <laughs> and then his face is like beaming. Like so, so. <laughs> yes. So um, uh, that's why we planned that before he died. And but uh, he passed away a few months later. Uh, but, so uh, did he get to ever work at a Joe's no, table? He didn't. He couldn't. So this is truly an immemorium mm -hmm. coffee shop. Yes. Um, you want to see a, 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 the coffee shop hire people with disabilities. Yes. 
I, I'm thrilled that you want to share with our audience your beautiful story, uh, Joe's Table. Um, uh, this is a beautiful book, Joe's Table, The Place of Welcoming for Everybody with Disabilities, How These Disabilities Become Gifts. And uh, Joe's Table is also a coffee shop. But this book, I read it in one setting. I didn't, I, I cried my way through it. And I was taught so deeply that as we praise God, we get the strength yeah. to go through our trials and our challenges. And uh, you've written it in both Chinese and you've written it in Korean. And uh, thank you for leaving enough copies with us. If you call in, you can get your copy of this book, 1-800-265-3100. Read the full story of Joe's Table with Stephanie and Peter Chung. Um, Peter, as we close, what would you say to families who just are overwhelmed with the challenges that they may be facing? So I'd like to encourage every parent who's, who are going through this uh, ordeal with their sons or daughters, uh, keep, keep the hope that uh, someday they'll learn to appreciate and they'll learn to uh, thank God that, uh, that God has brought that special child to their family for a reason. Thank you both. Joe's full story, Joseph's full story in this beautiful book that Dr. Stephanie Chung has written, Joe's Table. It's in Chinese, it's in Korean. Uh, if you need to be encouraged in your journey with God, give us a call, 1-800-265-3100. This is a wonderful book. Thank you so much for coming and sharing us. Joseph's missionary journey. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us.